Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This lesson will focus on approving invoices in Beanworks AP. This is one of the most common and important roles in Beanworks. If you need help logging in for the first time, make sure to watch our video lesson on exactly that topic. If your company is new to Beanworks, please remember that this is a new system and there may need to be slight adjustments made initially to get invoices flowing to the right people properly. This means that very occasionally, in the first couple weeks, you may get an invoice for your approval that is not yours. If this happens, please reject the invoice and alert your accounting team, and know they will fix the workflow with the help of Beanworks so that the system is completely accurate after the first couple weeks. Okay, let's get into the actual approval lesson. Once an invoice has been coded and submitted for approval, it will be in a status of pending approval. If you have invoices pending your approval, you will get an email from Beanworks telling you exactly how many invoices are awaiting your approval. You can click on the link in the email and log in. Or if you're in Beanworks already, click on the black side navigation bar and click on the Approval tab for invoices. Also, it's important to note that each user in Beanworks has their account configured to the type of work they do. When you're logged in and following this lesson, it might look slightly different than our examples, but the approving functionality should match exactly. Okay, let's get started. In the Approvals tab, you will only see invoices that are currently pending your approval. You won't see any other invoice in any other status, or invoices for anyone else's approval. To view the first invoice for your approval, double-click on the row or click on the Details view icon. This will bring you into the Details view of the invoice. First, we'll look at some of the functionality available to you as an approver around the invoice pages. You can use the zoom slider, which is most commonly used, to change the size of the pages so you can review them more easily. And there is a PDF button to download a copy of the invoice. The Add Pages option allows you to add extra pages to the invoice. A good example of when you need to do this is when you have an important email thread that you have PDF'd to add to this particular invoice. You have two options here to add pages. You can add them to the main invoice or as backup pages. If you want people to have the option to not include your uploaded file when people run PDF reports of this invoice later on, add them as a backup. There are also two ways to add files. You can drag and drop from your computer into the upload area, or press the Add Files button and simply navigate to where they're located on your computer, and press Upload. You can always move pages from backup to the invoice level or to backup again if needed, if you change your mind as to where they should be located, by selecting the pages and dragging and dropping them. It's important to remember that pressing the control button on your keyboard while you select pages will allow you to select multiple image pages to do an action to. You may want to rotate one or more pages or reorder them, which is easy to do using the image buttons. Any page with a blue border will have the action you take applied to it. The final thing to remember when working with images is to save using one of the save buttons whenever you're done making your changes, so that everything you've done is permanently saved. You cannot delete pages when an invoice is pending approval. The correct action would be to reject the invoice with a comment of what pages should be deleted if some of the pages are incorrect. We'll show you how to reject an invoice in this lesson. You may have the ability to change some of the coding on the invoice, such as a GL code, invoice number, or department. If you have this ability, you should always save when you're done making the changes. Review the video on coding invoices if you're unsure how to change coding correctly. Now, if you don't have the ability to make changes to the coding on an invoice when you think you should, you should contact your internal accounting system admin, and they may be able to enable this functionality for you. Once you've finished reviewing the invoice, simply select either the Approve or Reject button. Leaving a comment when approving is optional, but on rejecting the invoice, a comment is mandatory. The comment on rejection is mandatory, so the person who submitted the invoice can correct it and then resubmit the corrected invoice for approval. You may also have the ability to group, approve, or reject invoices. To do this, go back into the Approvals tab where you can see the list of invoices awaiting your approval. Select the invoices you wish to group, approve, or reject, then go to Actions and select the correct option. Please note that this functionality should only be used where you do not need to see the image of the invoice or the coding, which is the exception to the normal workflow. Typically, you should review every invoice one by one. Once again, your system administrator may restrict this functionality. 
and you may not have this capability. Once you've approved an invoice, your approval is noted on the invoice in the approval history in the details view of the invoice. An invoice may have multiple approvers before it is fully approved. You can check this by clicking the little arrow in the approval history area, which will show you who has to review the invoice next and shows you any other approval paths this invoice is following. A percentage bar indicates how far the invoice is through the approval stage. If an invoice is fully approved, it's ready for exporting to the accounting ERP. Okay, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for becoming an expert approver. If you have any questions, please contact Beanworks Support at support at beanworks.com.